Shack's journal. October 13th, 1985. 8.30 p.m. Meeting with Dryberg left bad taste in mouth. A flabby failure who sits whimpering in his basement. Why are so few of us left active? Healthy. And without personality disorders. The first night Al runs an auto repair shop. The first Silk Spectre is a bloated, aging whore, dying in a California rest resort. Dollar Bill got his cape stuck in a revolving door where he got gunned down. Silhouette. Murdered. A victim of her own indecent lifestyle. Mothman's in an asylum in Maine. Only two names remain on my list. Both share private quarters at Rockefeller Military Research Center. I shall go to them. I shall go tell the indestructible man that someone plans to murder him. Good evening, Rorschach. Dr. Manhattan. You know why I'm here? Yes. But you're going to leave disappointed. Rorschach, you shouldn't be here. You're a wanted man. Nice to see you too, Silk Spectre. I have a real name I've been using a couple years now. Try it. Whatever you say, Lori. What are you doing here? The comedian is dead. Rorschach wants me to look into my future, see if the killer's ever publicly identified. Already warned, driver. Came to warn you too. Even if I wanted to help, my future is blocked by some kind of temporal interference. I cannot see it clearly. Interference? Caused by what? In all likelihood, nuclear holocaust. If the United States and Soviet Union engage in all-out war, the resulting blast wave would produce a sudden burst of tachyons, particles which travel backward through what you perceive as time therefore obscuring my vision of the present. I must return to my work. Wait a minute. What if that's why someone wants us out of the way? So we can't do anything to stop it? Goodbye, Rorschach. Took a lot of effort to get in here to see you. I'm not leaving. Until I've had my say. There's a lot of things you don't tell me these days, John. I didn't want to worry you prematurely. If Adrian and I can solve the energy crisis, war may be averted. But you always say that time is simultaneous. If that's true, then how can you change the future? If only you could perceive time as I do. Please, let me show you. and you wonder why I keep the worst from you. Say hello to Dan for me. What? You want to ask me to go to dinner with you? Like we used to. But you won't. You know I can't. So you'll call Dan. Which is only natural. You deserve the comfort of an old friend. <laughs> 